And you are? I'm the assistant team captain of Thunderwolf Racing. This is our chassis for TWR 15, uh, 2023 Thunderwolf Racing race car. Okay, so w what goes into building something like this? It's a huge process. So we start around August. We form the team. We recruit 20 mechanical engineering students in their fourth year. And this project is their uh, graduating degree project. Okay, and in the end, that's kind of what we're... And that's our final final process. The final process. This is all kind of leading up to a, a big race in Michigan in May. Yeah. So May 17th to 20, we're going down to Brooklyn, Michigan, okay. uh, for the race at the Michigan International Speedway. These are universities from all over North America, I assume. All over the world. All over the world in yeah. Michigan in this race. Yeah. Do you have kind of an eye on what stu students at other universities are doing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we went to. Uh, in September, we went to the Tesla factory in uh, Fremont, California for, uh, for an event. They, they sent us there for two days just to teach us about building EVs because uh, that, that is where the competition is moving. So we got to talk from teams from all over the world there and see what they were doing and uh, yeah. Now are you on track to be one of the drivers? No. Well, I don't know who is going to be the, the driver of this car. He's the driver. <laughs> <laughs> You are all of them. And you're the only one of this group that has actually been a part of a race before. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, there was seven of us in total, plus our professor and my old man. Wow. And uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. We were there with the team and, uh, I mean, there was seven of us, but there was uh, people from all over. We met people from Germany, uh, Venezuela, uh, Mexico, all over the U.S. Uh, this car is basically an evolution of last year. So we used a lot of a lot of what they did last year, but we changed quite a lot. Now this car is called the Moose. Was last year's car also called the Moose? I think it was the Battle Tank. But well, that's, well, that's a lot cooler. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, I'm more that's of a awesome. fan of the Moose than the Battle Tank. <laughs> now why is this car the Moose? There's two reasons for that. One, this will be one of the heavier cars of competition. But we have, we have a big frame, a big engine, so just down to about 600 pounds. So it's down to the fact that it's a heavy car. And also, uh, it's going to to the Engineering Student Society. Uh, they, they give us a, a $5,000 sponsorship. Yeah. Uh, so it's a way to say thank you to the Engineering Student Society. Their, uh, their logo is a moose. Oh, okay. Now I heard you guys joking about putting a full rack of antlers on the back. Is that something we might see? We were thinking about painting on like antlers on the end plates <laughs> for the, on the yeah. rear wing. I think that'd be pretty cool. For many of us, like this is our last school challenge, our last school trip, yeah. our last team event with as students before we join the workforce. So, like going to the competition and like fighting the good fight uh, against teams like. Uh, University of Munich, who's sponsored by Audi. We, we get to fight those guys <laughs> at competition. Well, that's great, man. You're going to be, you're, you're an underdog. Uh, oh, yeah. But Battle Tank be damned, this is the year of the moose. Oh, yeah. The okay? year of the moose. The year of the moose, baby. It's going to be sweet. It's, it's such an amazing opportunity for engineering students. It's kind of the first time you get to take what you're learning in the classroom and actually build something. It, it's an awesome experience for students to gain real world experience before they start working. That's great, man. Well, congratulations. It looks like it's coming along pretty well. Yeah, in April, when you are racing around here, can we come back and check it out? Absolutely. Yeah.